Alright guys, so today's video is about how to connect smart bracelet to iPhone. So I'll be sharing with you how you can change the time and do other settings on it without wasting much of a time. Let's get down to business. Alright, the first thing to do here is to switch on your Bluetooth data and location. So I'll be switching on the Bluetooth of my iPhone. So let me switch on the Bluetooth of my iPhone data or your Wi-Fi. Okay. And let's switch on our location. Let's go to location. We go to our settings, then go to privacy and you select location services and make sure it is toggled on and that is it. So once you have done that, the next step to take is to go to the Apple App Store and download Fit Pro app. So let's go to our Apple App Store and search for Fit Pro app. Fit Pro. Alright, so let's select that. And our Fit Pro app is here. Please note that not this one, not this one. We don't need all this one. This is the one that we need. This one, this first one that shows peace symbol. Select get and you are going to download it. Approve it and make sure it is download and installed on your iPhone. Now our Fit Pro app has been installed. So you select the open option here and it's going to launch our Fit Pro app. Now Fit Pro want to access our location. So allow while using this app. Fit Pro would like to use Bluetooth. Select OK. Fit Pro would like to track activities across complaint app. Select allow. Fit Pro would like to connect your device to local network. Select OK. And your Fit Pro app would like to access and update your app data using the earth access. Okay, you can give it permission, just select turn on hold. And it's going to toggle on the sleep, step, walking, plus running distance, which you can access on your iPhone. Then you come here and select allow. Once you have done that, now you are at the Fit Pro app page where you can now register or log in with your id so you can log in with your id you can use your gmail or your email address you can use your apple id or you skip the step altogether so if you want to skip the step just come here and you are going to see this skip option here so you select that and if you want to register you just select register here and you can input your email and enter your new password so here i'm going to sign in with my id my apple id so let me select that and it says continue with touch ID or you access with your password. Okay. Now it is in. All right. So this is the home page of the Fit Pro app for your smart bracelet. Now the first thing to do here is to make sure it is connected to your smart bracelet. How do you connect your iPhone to your smart bracelet? This is the home page. You select settings. It's going to come here. And you select bind device to experience more feature this option here select it you are going to see scan when it scan is going to bring out your watch or your smart bracelet which is here lh719 select that and you can see it's in connection now it's requesting for bluetooth request so you pair it And it's going to connect successfully. Now we are getting another message here that says allow H to receive your phone, iPhone notification, select allow. Now it has been connected successfully to our smart bracelet. So that is how to connect it. Now I'm going to show you some other features. So if you want it to lift wrist before to bright screen lift wrist to bright screen that is if you want it to show when you raise it up like this you just come to this option and toggle it on here okay when you toggle it on you can also set the time and time it should know off and time it should be on all right so depending on what you want but i don't want that feature so i don't really need that now you can come here to the do not disturb alarm settings and sediment reminder now you can use your smart bracelet to take pictures all right so all you have to do is to come to this sh remote shutter here fitbit would like to access your camera 
so you select ok you would like to access your photos select access to all photos allow access to all photos now you can see so if i tap on this touch sensor here it's going to snap as you can see it's counting down successfully save now you can see it here all right so that is how to use your camera on your iphone using your smart bracelet now let's go back Another feature is the find feature. Maybe you misplace your smart bracelet. You can select find and it's going to start vibrating. As you can see, it vibrates. So you are going to locate your smart bracelet. Now the next option here is the message push option. Maybe you want to receive messages of WhatsApp on your smart bracelet using your iPhone. Then you have to toggle on this message push option here. So you come here and select it and you are going to see call reminder sms reminder wechat and every other thing so make sure you toggle on the one that you want so i'm going to select sms and i'm going to jump over to facebook and twitter and whatsapp make sure whatsapp is toggled on so that you can receive whatsapp messages all right and instagram the last one here uh the following applications are not supported by some smart bracelet so this skype cow talk and uh, LinkedIn may not be supported on the smart bracelet, but the most important one is the WhatsApp, which we have just toggled on. Once you have done that, you can now press the back button and you start receiving WhatsApp notification on your smartwatch. So let's test that quickly. So I'm going to send a message to this smartphone. All right. So I'm going to send, hi, have you subscribe remember to subscribe and like the video and let's send it and let's see if it's going to drop all right can you see it on the smart bracelet have you subscribed all right so that is it and uh, that is how to get whatsapp notification on your smart bracelet using your iphone if you want to customize your smart bracelet wallpaper or photos that you want then all you have to do is to come down here and select the dice settings. When you select the dice settings, it's going to take you to another page where you can see default and recommended. Okay, so the default is the default wallpaper that comes with the smartwatch, which is this. You are going to see it there when it's complete loading. And the recommend is the place that you can make changes to your watch face. All right, it is now up as you can see. Now let's select recommend. Here you can select any of these and it's going to switch it to the watch face of your smart bracelet. So let's just pick one of these. Let's pick this astronaut. All right. So if you are okay with this, if you want this, come down here and select synchronize. As you can see, it is downloading. Let's just wait for it. All right. You can see update success and our astronaut is now displaying on our smartwatch so you can see it looks cool but if you don't want this kind of wallpaper but you want to customize it to the one that you want all you have to do is to go to this die setting once again select recommended option select any of this dial select this replace option don't come to synchronize yet select replace option when you select replace option it's going to go to your gallery all right so you can pick any of these pictures and you know install it so i'm going to pick this Amazon guy i know you know this guy all right so once you are okay you can also shrink it or crop it you know crop it in or crop out on it so once you are okay with it so i'll be picking it like this it's okay so that i can put the date and time here so once you are satisfied with the cropping you can now come down here and select done option when select done option is going to show your picture right here all right so as you can see the time is by the side and it looks nice but if you don't want the time to be where it is right now you can just come here and pick another one and it's going to change it as you can see it's changing where the time and date are so i think this one looks better so once you are okay with it now you can now select synchronize so you select synchronize and it start syncing up your picture to your smart bracelet 
so you have to wait for it as you can see it is loading you have to wait for it all right as you can see our watch face has been customized and this is the new smart bracelet watch face it looks beautiful right so that is how to customize your smart bracelet and you can also use some other features here like device reset if you want to reset your smart bracelet you can come here and select it and confirm so it's going to reset your smart bracelet so if you want to remove it from your fit pro app you can also come here and select remove and it's going to help you to delete the information and data of your smart bracelet from your fit pro app so here i'm going to select cancel and once you remove it you can now go to the bluetooth and remove the name of this smart bracelet from your phone so it's going to remove it totally now you can go to other settings here if you want to other settings is vibration settings so in case you don't like it vibrating on your wrist you can come here and toggle off this option here so once you toggle it off like this it's not going to vibrate when you have incoming calls or you have whatsapp notification or sms notification so let me toggle this on i want it to vibrate so the next option here which is the last one is the otp upgrade the otp upgrade is in case you want to update your fit pro app let's see if there is a new version oh there is a new version here you have a new firmware update please update so let's just update it done and here is it you can see it says is the latest version so we don't have to wait for any update there's no new update or version for it now that is it if you want to use your smartwatch or smart bracelet for sport you can come here and select sport and use it also if you want to go to the me option here here you can see your profile data or information like personal information and every other things here as you can see everything is here if you want to change it or make changes to it you can come here and start doing that okay so if you want to give feedback you can select the feedback option here and you can fill in the details or issue that you are having select the plus option here and add it up and you can send it to the fit pro developers all right so if you want to see the about this is just basically what you are going to see all right so that is it that is all on how to connect smart bracelet to your iphone any question drop it down there in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as possible peace